Hello and welcome again to another Excel VBA web automation video and and for today I am going to focus again on another uh, uh, another web uh, data table scraping using BBA so we will be using this web page because I, I see another table in here I think it's just a simple format that we can try so to get started make sure to open your Excel and uh, control or alt press alt f 11 the shortcut for the bba editor and here let's add a new module uh, let's name the module web scraping and let's start with adding the the reference for web automation which are microsoft uh, html object library and of course the internet controls make sure to add these two before you get started and we'll get subget we'll start with the procedure subget table and what I want to do is oops oh where is that oh I need to open an IE first or later maybe what I want to do is to navigate this URL and then when the web page is loaded I will capture this table and send to my Excel workbook so let me rename this worksheet uh, can see palace variables variable which is the name of this page title so here uh, we'll start with declaring the IE a subject and let's also declare a URL string so URL is equals to this and then well as a good practice make sure to always use option explicit so white way to use this code this is to this is for you to avoid using any variable without declaring it first so to make sure that everything is declared we will be using the option explicit so we'll start with um, set i is equals to create object internet explorer that application and make sure that the i e that visible is set to true so you can see the, the web page open and then we need to navigate to the URL and then we need to uh, wait for the page to completely load before we we do the next step so to do that let's say do while I eat it busy is equal to true do events and loop and do until I eat it busy is equal to true oh no sorry do until I eat it ready state is equal to for do events loop well the equivalent of number four is ready state complete if you want to know why I put number four okay so after the page is completely loaded we want to scrape this so using uh, Google Chrome I will inspect this element so we can see here that the table doesn't have an ID so so why <laughs> so let me check first how many table do we have on this page so let me try this um, debug the print I the document that get elements by tag name table that length so let me run this code And it says there's only one table, so well we no longer need we no longer need an ID. We will be yes, we will be just using the element index. So if there's only one table, the index of that element is equals to zero because in in VBA index always start as zero. So let's say dim table as HTML table and let's set that object is equal to I the document that get elements or get element by ID or I'm sorry by elements by tag name table index zero 
right so once we get that we can now uh, copy all the the value the item that we have on the table and send to our excel workbook so for example we want to put the table uh, let's say just here on the first cell so I need I need to declare a uh, a variable that will represent the worksheet row and column so let's name it the um, tr counter first as integer and td counter as integer so by default tr count tr counter should be equals to one and td counter is equals to one as well and now let's let's loop through the table so we need to declare the table elements as well so let's start with tr as html table row and mtd as html table cell okay now we'll need to use a for each loop so for each tr in table that get elements by tag name tr next tr all right so i think we can test this for for the meantime so let's try debug the trend tr dot inner text let's see if we are capturing correct data let me put a break in here using f9 in your keyboard and run it all right oops at elements by oh we forgot the by okay and now let's print it oops the first row is patch valor it's correct it's printing the whole row that's why all the values are concatenated right so after that we need to look through all the td elements so for each td in table i'm sorry tr that get elements by tag name td next td so if you have question what is tr what is tb td so tr is the table uh, row this is this is a table row so you can see if i highlight the element and then td is the cell so for example on this row the first td is this cell the next and this one okay so now we will be looping through all these td element so going here uh, let me clear that let's say that i want the first td element to go on column a second to column b and third one to column C so let's say uh, all right I forget to declare my worksheet so let me get this worksheet name first uh, copy that and then let me declare my worksheet so team as worksheet set my sh is equal to this work book that sheets principal bar principal is variable okay let's say my sh that sells uh, tr counter and the column is the td counter that value is equals to td that inner text and then we need to increment the td counter so that the next inner text value will go to the next column so td counter is equals to td counter plus one and then here every time we process a, a, a tr we need to increment the tr <coughs> excuse me counter is equals tr counter plus one so that the next item will go through the next row of our worksheet so and make sure to reset the td counter value to one so that once you finish with the first item it will go back to the first column so let's try this let me close this one first and let's try it 
Let's have a message box, I think. Process completed. Right. So, let's check what will happen. Alright, and... Is it done? Is it done? Yeah, it's done. You can see that... Yeah, I think we were able to capture the the value of the table exactly yeah okay so that's how to capture a uh, data table but I think you can notice here that the purchase should be in here and valor value should be in column B and C so let's see why that happened so on the table or we, we have a t head element tag tag element here and oh because here in tr we have a tj th so it, it, it did not become part of the td loop that's why the first td is placed on the first column so i think to to fix that oh, where's my excel to fix that what we can do is Mm -hmm. let's say for example that if if tr counter is equals to 1 then I want the my sh that um, cells or the range B uh, TR counter that value is equals to um, TR dot children one that in a text so children one what is children one so in this type of code you can see that uh, thtd and td is under the element tr so this is the parent element tag name and all the ta element tag name within this uh, l within this tag is called its children so the first children is th and the index of it is zero the next children is having the index one that's why i use one in here and then i assign it to the column b Right, let me just copy that and get the next one. So it should be C and it should be 2. 0, 1, 2. So, well, we'll cut this and put that to else statement. Let me indent it. And there we go. So, let me clear this again and then let's try to close this first and put this here and let's run this is completed and now we can see that Fetcha is now here and Valor is here and we have the table uh, values completely the same with what with what we have on the website. So it's 33.82 eleven. Yeah. Okay, I hope that you learned something from this video. I have other uh, uh, web scraping or web data table scraping uh, sample. Please just check the the link on the description below thank you for watching